Hey guys, Blue Rabbit here, and today I'm doing a review and unboxing for um, a Japanese uh, proxy website called Zen Market. Uh, they can help you do uh, orders through Japanese websites that don't ship abroad. Um, I believe they can ship to almost any country. And what they'll do is they'll order the item for you, it'll ship to their warehouse, and then they'll repackage it and then um, ship it out to you. And you only pay 300 yen per item that you order. So you can, uh, and if you order like two of the same items, it still only, only costs 300 yen, and they don't charge you extra to repackage it, which is actually pretty fantastic. Um, you might want to reconsider if you're ordering a lot of like tiny, tiny, tiny things like, you know, like 300 yen keychains or something that might get a little expensive. But if you're ordering something big or just a couple of items, uh, especially from different stores, it's actually a great service. Um, this is my first time ordering from them, but um, so far it's been super smooth sailing. I even use their service to order, uh, to make auction bids on Yahoo Auction Japan. Um, it's they're a great service for that as well because you still only pay 300 yen and if you don't win the auction you get everything back and you don't get charged or anything like that so it's actually pretty great um, they also really they also have pretty good uh, customer service at least in my experience um, they will contact Japanese stores to ask them your questions if you have any like you know um, if you have a question about certain items that didn't show up on their item specifications or something like that um, you can their customer service and then they will send an email to that Japanese store uh, website for you and get it. Um, just so you know that they're only a website service, they don't like you know go to events or anything like that and buy things, um, but all you really need is a URL to that website and they will open uh, and, and they will order it for you. Um, it's actually really great. They have a flat fee of 300 yen per item and that just is just one of the things that makes it um, super sorry. wonderful. All right, so let's just jump right in. So. This is my first box with them. It arrived pretty quickly. I was able to use um, their uh, all the normal shipping options like EMS. They also had like regist registered sale and airmail. Um, what's great about that their service also is that they will hold items in their warehouse for 45 days for free. Um, so you know you can order things like within a certain limited like time frame but you have to also consider the time it'll take for those other shops to ship it to them uh, as well as um, they also include that time it takes to package your package and make your um, shipment box so keep that in mind um, they charge I think they charge 50 yen for any day that goes over per item so if you have a lot of items waiting in storage it might you know um, it might make a, <laughs> it might eventually make a difference. But so far, I really like their service. I have another package from them coming in, and I even or, uh, pre-ordered some items in um, November for them to order. So, so but one thing about them is that if you do pre-order items, you will have to pay in advance. They are in a pay in advance kind of store. Same thing if you want to make uh, bids on their on the Yahoo uh, auction website, you have to. Um, make sure you have like money um, like you have money already on your account and stuff before you can make bids but either way it's still great I, I would recommend them I haven't had a problem so far and I have ordered a, quite a lot of items from several different shops so they're pretty great um, okay so here we go here is it is it's you can already see the first thing it's packaged pretty well so I'm really glad um, they do offer like a thing when you make your shipment they do offer um, you a way to put in uh, like a checkbox kind of thing that says you know to take certain I to take items out if it doesn't fit um, uh, registered as a sale shipment or sale I call it our, our sale so it comes with this little card so it comes with this little um, quick pamphlet, it just says thank you in many different languages and you know it has like, you know, that like it, hope it arrived quickly in several different languages. Okay, so let's jump right in. I actually have something for a friend in here so I won't be showing that and I will take it out but everything so far looks like it was individually wrapped when they ordered it. Um, 
So this is one of the items that I ordered actually through uh, Yahoo Auction Japan because it was out in stores earlier this this year or last year and I kind of missed my chance on it, but I found a great deal for it so I couldn't, I like, couldn't resist. It's a little cushion of Hotaru Maru from Token Rambu. He is, I always say this, but he is my favorite in case you don't see any of my other videos. Um, I don't know if he was received wrapped all in plastic, uh, in bubble wrap or if they did it. I'm assuming they did it because it seems like almost every item is sort of wrapped in bubble. Here he is. Oh, he is so cute. So this is Hotaru Maru from Token Rambu Online. Um, this is the ES Nino Ni, 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 ES Nino series. I don't know how to say that. Um, it's like a, a certain type of drawing in the Kotobukiya line. They usually make a lot of straps for it. Um, they've done a top. They're doing a couple token rambu um, cushions for it. I think they also made a tails of cushions and utapri cushions so yes but i saw hotarumaru Hotaru Maru for like nearly his original price so i was super ecstatic um yeah super cute okay and if we look at the bottom everything else is still wrapped uh honestly I, like i said it before i don't know if the other sh stores shipped in this way or they repackaged them this way but since everything is bubble wrapped i'm guessing they bubble wrapped it um I do want to say that I did. There was another big item in here that I took out. It was also another pillow, but um, it's my friend's, and I don't want to like ruin the surprise, so I took it out of the video or the unboxing. But um, um, as you saw before, Hotamo's pillow was right on the top, so they really filled this box very well. And here is the next thing. It's in a little box, so it's kind of hard to see. This item um, I ordered off of Surugaya. Um, I've made my own purchases there from them before and forwarded it um, and forwarded it instead of using a proxy service and there is a difference between those two. Um, a proxy service will actually buy the item for you and do do everything like buy the item and then do all the shipping while a forwarder you you buy it yourself kind of thing like you pay directly to the store or the company and then they'll ship it to the address that you give them. So instead of shipping it to your house because they don't ship abroad, you give them the forwarder's address. And then the forwarder will just ship the box directly to you afterwards. Um, but yes, I ordered this from Studio Gaia and I only wanted a couple stuff, so I thought since I was already getting this pillow that I would <laughs> order some stuff off of Studio Gaia as well. And this one is <sighs> so cute. It's a mug cup. So this is Mikaze Ai from Utano Prince-sama, and this is his mug cup. It is a super cute mug, and I'm glad it's like, it's kind of the exact size I expected it to be, which is great. Not too big, but not too small. It's like, perfect. It's so cute. Ugh. So this is the same picture that would be on the cushion of uh, Mikaze Ai that's very similar to this. They're the same, from like the same series kind of thing. Um, but since I have the mug cup, I haven't really made an effort to, to buy his pillow, but yes. So cute. Okay, only a couple things left. Um, the next one, oh, yeah. This is also from Studio Gaia. It is a doujin art book. I've actually been looking for this uh, doujin book for quite a while. Um, yeah, so I'm actually really excited that I saw Monsuru Gaia for quite dirt cheap, to be honest. But yeah, so this is the art book of Akashi Seijiro from Kuroko no Basuke. Um, it is a doujin. Um, I actually don't really buy much doujin comics. Um, not that they aren't great. I have, I do have a couple books, books, um, but. Usually I don't buy like the comics and stuff that much, mostly just because um, I'm too busy buying like official goods <laughs> and you know doujin comics do get quite expensive so but ugh, oh my gosh he I love I love doujin art books though like yeah so great I think he was only like two dollars or like 150 150 yen um, I mean obviously if you include the shipping he's a lot more expensive but still I am super excited. Okay, and I think there's only like two things left. Yep. Ooh, lovely. 
Okay, and that's really all that's in here. Okay, and the last thing is also from uh, Yahoo Japan Auctions. So here it is. Ah, so lovely. Okay, so I'll start off with this one. So this is the Utano Pin Sama Trading Stand Postcard. I believe this is based, it's based off one of the games, and I believe it's All Star. So these are called Trading Stand Postcards, as you can tell from right here. And basically, it, it sounds, it is what they, what, it is what it sounds like. So here's what it looks like. Of course, I got Mikaze Ai. So you see like this um, shiny golden border around his picture. This is normal standard picture that they use, but it's on this nice sturdy cardboard, like not cardboard, um, poster board kind of like thing. It's pretty sturdy. It has his signature right here, which is pretty cool. And what it is, what is cool about it is, so it might be a little hard to see, but it is um, like a standing postcard. You, there's like this outline here and you pull it out and you kind of like fold it halfway and it'll sort of like stand against that, against the deck. For, these are the different options for this series. Um, yes, but I got Mikaze Ai, of course, because he is my favorite. Okay, and for this last item, it is also a, tra a standing postcard. So the last item is also a standing, a trading stand postcard of Utano Prince Sama. Um, this is the pictures for this is based off of the Shining Dream Festa outfits. Um, of course, yes, I did get Mikaze Ai. <laughs> Uh, so yes, this is what the cover looks like And these are the different options These are the different options that you can get so you have the um, Daydream and the night dream teams um, in their separate outfits And I love that they have like their own different colors since blue is my favorite color I'm really glad that I is part of the night dream um, So if you can kind of see this is how you sort of stand them up So with this one, yay! So this one is quite different from the other one in that just put this back here. This is quite different from the other Mikaze Ai in that it is more of a body picture. So you can see more of his body in this one, and of course all the outlines this time are in silver rather than gold. It's really great. Uh, yes. And here is the back. The back, of course, is pretty plain because it's not really meant. For display, um, this one you can't probably can't see as well, but this one also has a stand as well. By the way, I think they call it a postcard because not because it's like a postcard that you would send through the mail, but because it's this um, sort of like the quality of one it has that like rigid paper feeling to it. Although in my opinion, it is a lot thicker than a normal postcard would be, which of course it should be. I'm glad for. So yeah. Ah, in case anyone was wondering, these are what the two signatures look like. So if you want to compare, I love that they're actually quite similar. <laughs> Alright guys, and that is just a quick review and unboxing of a, an order from Zen Market. In case anyone wanted to know with shipping, it's the same as any other store. Um, mine, I think, barely made it under the 2 kilogram mark and made it about $20, $22 for all this stuff. Um, also keep in mind though that one of the other items that I got for my friend was a, like a normal sized pillow, not one of these small ones, so it did quite, it did add a lot to my shipping and the mug cup as well is, you know, is a mug, so it is quite heavy. Alright guys, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!